for those of you who park at Epcot, you're gonna notice a little bit of a change here. There's no more like the tents above the Epcot sign. It's just Epcot. I don't know if they're cleaning it or if they just got rid of it for a cleaner look. But yeah, they're like, it's gone. Change it up here. All right, everybody, welcome back to your Daily Dose. We're coming on in here at Epcot at about 4.40. We've got a long day ahead of us, or should I say a long night. It's the first day of the festival of the holidays. We've only got about like an hour of sunlight left. We're gonna be doing the candlelight professional for the very first time. I've never actually seen that, believe it or not. We're hitting that tonight. There's three different show times. Let's just get on in and get some food because I actually haven't eaten anything. I wanted to get some um, some food booths, visit the brand new food booth and just kind of have a good uh, festival night here. Usually for festivals, I'm here at the crack of dawn rope dropping and going to those food booths, but Festival of the Holidays has a lot of entertainment options at night, which we're going to see. So that's why I kind of wanted to wait. And also the US was playing England in the World Cup. So had to watch that as well. We drawed. So we have to beat Iran, Iran. And uh, we're in the group of 16, but here we go. Festival of the Holidays, opening day. And away we go. Epcot's International Festival of the Holidays presented by Advent Health. We're gonna be here all night. I believe we're actually gonna check out some of the merch as well. They should have some merch. Now behind the big sign, they do have a couple Christmas trees. Those are gonna look really cool at night. I'll be sure to remember not to end the vlog and check these lights out when we get back. But since it's the first day, we have to get our passport. November 25th through December 30th. Oh, boop, boop, boop. gonna run over so many people. Today as well, I tried to get a Guardians of the Galaxy Lightning Lane, but that was sold out. And I wanted to get that because there's a new holiday overlay now, but I'm pretty sure when my parents get here, my family will probably be getting a Lightning Lane when we stay at the resort. So yeah, and I wasn't in here at one o'clock to get the return time for later. So uh, we're not gonna be experiencing that tonight, but probably in the future. Oh my gosh, that's right. There's going to be a new Spaceship Earth show with uh, snowflakes. We'll be able to catch that as well. So it's a huge nightly type entertainment that we're gonna see here throughout. But we best be get going because it's almost five o'clock. Sun is dying, my stomach is grumbling. And these show times are gonna creep up on us. I think it's best we hit the first booth, the, the new one. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, but it's right at the port of entry. So we're gonna go wander to that. Nuchen Buena, is that a C or a G? Cocina? I have no idea. Wow, Spaceship Earth with a hefty, hefty weight. Can you guys see that? It's kind of dark. Wow, it's like the old days of Epcot where I feel like it's just pouncing. I can hear um, the band up ahead. Joyful, that's who I bet is currently performing. I can hear them. There's a lot of entertainment. Hold on, let me show you guys. Screenshot this if you guys like, but it, at, pretty much at every country, there is something. This festival is is like jam-packed. And also, it's a very nice night out, if you can't tell. About 80 degrees out. A big difference from the past couple days. Wish we would have had this weather on our staycation. Look at the people coming out. I hope we don't miss Joyful. <laughs> Wow, they have the shades down. I feel like I've never seen that before. We're gonna head back into the creations after we go see Joyful, just because I, there's gotta be some uh, Festival of the Holiday merchandise. At least you think there would be? I think I see something in there. Oh my gosh, Joyful, they're so good. But here's our festival little little pieces up here. Happy Holidays. Did I just call them little pieces? Yeah, we'll call them little pieces. Add that to my dictionary of nonsense. Chippendale. Oh, I can already feel the crowds. It's gonna be a packed night. You can always count on that on an opening day of a festival. Let's go see Joyful set, at least what's left. Oh my gosh, should they just end? 
I feel it's like the curse. That is the curse of logging. Oh my gosh. We just missed it. There's their time. Unbelievable. That's so funny. I feel the best way to describe that is when a, an announcer announces that this field goal kicker hasn't missed a kick and then he misses the kick. That's crazy. That's so funny. We missed it by a hair. At least we got to see a little bit of Joyful, but they're back here. We covered that before. But what do you say? Let's go to this new food booth because I'm hungry. Get a little hangry here. Oh my goodness. The cookie stroll as well. We have to do this. Oh, I love the cookie stroll. Gingerbread. Jingle, jingle sugar cookie. That one looks good. Probably will be doing this with my sister. I found the new booth. It's actually pretty decked out. It's kind of cool what they did with the signs. Let me show you it. It's right here where the old Starbucks used to be. If you're looking for the brand new booth this year. Look no further than this video. I got you guys. Here it is. No Che Buena... No che buena. No che, no che buena. Impossible chorizo pernil. Alfa Juarez. Alfa Juarez. We're gonna get them both. Vanilla shortbread cookie, pork, and then a plant based cheese, spicy red chili sauce. Let's get that. I, um, if you guys haven't noticed, I'm the worst at pronouncing things, but maybe I pronounced it right? I don't know. English was never my forte in school. I'm a, I'm a math student. Hey, how's it going, man? Could I get one of each? Yeah, all three. All right, folks, here is all of the food offerings at that brand new booth. Oh my God, Canada is throwing a party too. We gotta go over to Canada real quick. Uh, the cookie looks to be like a soft sandwich type cookie. Can't wait to try that. I love my cookies. First off, we're gonna start with the pork here. Gonna start out with something that I think I'm going to like because I am starving. Can never go wrong with pork. That's very juicy. No! I did not just do that. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm just really hungry and fairly, apparently very clumsy as well. Oh my gosh, I'm really good job. Oh, it's so good too. I'm not sure how I feel about this thing. Ooh. This thing's kind of like, meh. They don't need that. But half my plate's now on the table. So, good job, Kyle. All right, time for this impossible chorizo. It's plant-based. Gotilla cheese, I can't pronounce that. And spicy red chili sauce. Maybe I should have gotten something to drink too. All right. Tastes like chili. Ooh, that is spicy. Oh boy. I'll take it though. I can't really tell if it's like, just cause I'm hungry or what. It sure does have a kick though. Mm. That's banging. I still feel like the pork wins. But you can handle spice. It doesn't have that much of a kick. It's kind of like perfect. It's like chili kick. And now for what this festival is all about, the cookies. This is a very heavy cookie, about the size of my, my palm. Here's a look at it. Powdered sugar. Let's give it a go. Mmm. That is a really good shortbread cookie. I can't really taste the coconut in here. It's very soft. A sandwich cookie, best way to describe this. Be really good with ice cream if they had ice cream. Just caught the water fountains going on as well. They only do this for about 20 seconds every day. And we kind of just caught those 20 seconds. 
I was like, what is that noise coming from over there? The Yukon has this snickerdoodle cookie. Oh, we're gonna have the Yukon come back to that. Hearing Christmas music in a Disney park live like that just, just hits so different. I say it every time, maybe every day. If you guys haven't come to Disney during the holidays, it's 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 a magic on a different level, especially since Iker's back. What's up? What's up? Dude, nice shirt. Oh my goodness, guys, it's it's Father Christmas all the way back here in Canada. He's got quite the the costume on. Yeah, I'll show you guys. I'm always still kind of tripped up with the sunlight. I feel like it's still like, or it's still, well, it is not, but okay, I'm totally butchering this, but I feel like it's seven o'clock, but it's only like five. I really dislike daylight saving time. I wanna go to uh, France real quick, and then I'm gonna head on a ride. For some of you guys, you might enjoy this next bit. Ugh, I always forget this guy's name. It's something Noel and then put it into a little cap for Babette to pull around the church for everyone to see with shepherds playing flutes and drums. Then, after the mass, they go home for le réveillon, the big supper. I decided to kind of go around the countries here quick. I'm just getting my exercise in. But the first candlelight is right now. It's at 5.15, at 7 and 8.30. We're going to go into the 8.30 one. But uh, you got to show up pretty early to get to these. That's how I never have seen them in the past because they're always so jam-packed. Um, to the left right here is all going to be the dining package. But we're going to be standby. So we have to get here pretty early. And I'll show you where that line is. Tonight is uh, Simu Liu, and he's in Shang Chi. He's basically kind of like one of the biggest ones this year, besides Neil Patrick Harris and Whoopi Goldberg. So we're gonna have to get here pretty, pretty early. Don't believe I've showed you guys the beautiful Christmas tree here in America. Go USA in the World Cup. Go USA. Here she is. Same as same as last year. Also the American holiday table. Let's see what they have here real quick. Okay, the slow roasted turkey. Ew, catfish. And then the chocolate crinkle cookie. Maybe I'll come here and try the catfish one of these days. I've never had catfish, so that might be a thing to do. Not right now, though. That's so funny. My sister just literally sent me her uh, holiday snack list for when she comes here. I officially have access to that. Also, the Voices of Liberty. I want to see when they perform. Now inside the American Adventure, uh, the voices that literally norm normally sing, but they're going to be in candlelight. I think they're actually currently singing right now at the moment, but you can catch them during the day. We'll be catching them tonight in their big candlelight performance. Look at this. The next show is not even until like 7.15, 7.30, and people are already lined up. Kind of crazy. That's what we're going to have to get here. What time is that one again? Seven o'clock. So in an hour and a half and there's already a line for him. This is a standby entrance. We're gonna have to get here early. It's crazy, they're standing in line for like an hour and a half. I don't know if I would do that. Maybe that's why I never do it. I'm like, I don't wanna stand in line for like two hours. Now you get the dining package. Oh my God. Guys, 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 guys. I don't think I updated you guys on this. Look at this. Well, the concrete is done over here. I heard a rumor the reason why they had to do this was because it was actually like caving in. I don't know, just a rumor though, but this whole uh, front half of Italy is now all new. Brand spanking new concrete. What a marvelous job, Disney. Yeah, that was a rumor. I heard it was uh, unsafe. Oh, it's pretty. We're about to do something very rare on the channel. I can't believe I'm about to walk across the whole park for this. 
Side note, I think this is kind of pretty well known, but um, on the train here, the little flags are actually uh, the festival of the holidays. Whatever holiday it is, they replace the small little little uh, signs down there with whatever holiday it is. Oh my goodness! It's that time of year again. The trees are all naked. The leaves have, have all fallen. It looks so weird. There's these trees also at Hollywood Studios. I'm assuming those leaves are off as well. It looks so weird, but it like opens up this whole area. Opens up opportunities for fireworks viewing just back here. All right, let's go walk across the, the whole park to go see one thing. All right, I'm uh, going across the park to do one thing. And that one thing is this. Merry Christmas it is indeed. Oh, look at all these lovely decorations. <laughs> My name is Sigrid, and I am the holiday ambassador for the Norway Pavilion. And I am so excited today to tell you all about Christmases in Norway. Miss Visa. There must be a bird. Not to see that, that was kind of just a surprise. We stumbled upon that, but we are here to do this. Couldn't resist filming the tree, but this isn't what we came here for when we still have to go. Look at that beautiful sunset. Oli kamoli. What a surprise. I believe this is the new show, however. I didn't come to see this either. We're gonna see that when we, when we leave. Oh, wow. Wow, okay. That's gonna be going on like every, what, 15 minutes or so? Wow. What a beautiful shot. A couple of you guys might be able to guess where we're headed if we're going this way. Yes. Yes, everyone, I came to Figment. For one thing, it, wait, is it closed? No, it says 15 minutes. Did it break down? I'm gonna cry, no way. Well, a for effort, right? I guess I'll just insert what I was just going here on for Figment. He's wearing his holiday sweater. And that's the sole reason why I was gonna come up here. All right, I gotta get some thumbs up for that, guys. I just traveled across galaxies and countries to, to not do it. <laughs> Might as well now, let's go check to see if there's any specific holiday merch for the Festival of the Holidays. I don't know if there is. Dude, Epcot hits different at night. So far, I haven't found any special Festival of the Holidays merch, but this is a new spirit jersey. It's really fluffy. $100, and it, you can get some matching Crocs. Guys, I tell you, every day we go in a Christmas section, we find something new. I honestly don't even know what this is. Oh, it's um, measuring cups. $34.99. Still no specific Festival of the Holiday merch. I don't know if this counts, but holidays are for sweets. I've never seen this spear jersey. It's an Olaf spear jersey, obviously. Check this out. Oh, here it is. Oh my gosh. Festival of the Holidays. It's their specific spear jersey. That's cool. Let me also have this pin. $17.99. And there's... One more as well, seventeen ninety nine. So we did find, oh wait, oh it's the pass holder one. Can't really see it, it's covered with snow. Wow, limited edition of 1,000. Limited edition at Magic Band for the festival. Probably like $34. Nope, it's actually $40. Found a very tiny mug at that. This thing is like, Tiny. This is like a display mug, fifteen dollars. That is like not even a coffee mug. And then there's an ornament as well, an Olaf ornament. That about wraps it up for the specific merch for Festival of the Holidays. You know what? Since we've kind of got time to kill, I want to see if they're doing anything special outside Guardians regarding anything the holidays, unless it's just the music. It'd be kind of cool if they incorporated something outside. Nope, unfortunately not, but we do have this really beautiful shot. I don't know if I, oh, look at the Epcot ball. I don't know if I've ever been here at night. 
That's cool. It'd be cool if they change it to like Christmas colors. Oh, let's go. Here goes the show. It turns off and then kind of does a hard reset. Kind of good that there's no music right now here so I don't get copyrighted. But they are playing um, some Christmas tunes. It's supposed to have a snowflake. That's what we're gonna look for. That's one of the coolest. I wish it just stayed like that because that is so pretty. <laughs> Did you guys hear the conversation? You know, maybe we walk. I kind of want to stay here though. Still no snowy flake. Snowflake. No. I'm gonna have to look back at this one. I didn't see anything different with that one, guys. But look out for a snowflake. Hey, it was nice meeting you guys. I've been all around Epcot tonight. If you guys haven't, please uh, leave a thumbs up because we got to go all the way back to America now. I wanted to come out and see these trees because I said I would. So now let's go to America and stand in line for like an hour and a half. Mela Kalikimaka, we're going to get the pork. Yum yum. Holiday kitchen time. One of my favorite dishes every year, excluding like the sweet potatoes on at the bottom, I honestly just get this for the pork. And I know my dad won't eat this because they're purple, but they're just okay, but the pork is excellent. The star, when it rose in the east, had come to worship him. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced. You can't see him, but I can. It's a lot of uh, singing. And like two cents of talking. Interesting. Beautiful singing though. The line was sort of kind of insanely long, so uh, we actually made the seven o'clock show. It's about 50 minutes long, by the way. I had no idea it was that long. And uh, that is a wrap, folks. We're walking on out. I did a lot off camera after I stopped eating at um, Melikliki Maka. Um, but that's me for you guys' daily dose. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Candlelight, I don't know if it's for me. It was beautiful. It might be more for me around Christmas. I don't know if I could sit through a whole hour of that personally, but maybe it's gonna be cool around christmas i really enjoyed the singing is absolutely beautiful but with that i'll see you guys tomorrow and um yeah jump around jump around jump around wow you're so